they are temporarily food. accommodated here in the classroom. Yeah. Yeah. The teachers? No, 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 no the students. students. The teachers. You see, this is where they do their laundry. Uh, this is where the students use for easing themselves. This is going to change their lives. This is going to change their lives. To have access to the internet and computing. Of course, yes. This will change their lives. Yes. The national situation in Nigeria in terms of girl-child education could be described as both positive and negative. There has been tremendous uh, achievements. The other side of the coin is that there has been tremendous challenges that, have, that are bedeviling the progress of girl-child education. Any nation that educates its um, female uh, components, that nation was going to reap many benefits. The girl-child is, in terms of numbers, is not, is not any smaller than the boys. But the facilities that we have should have been more so that we can accommodate the girl-child. And bearing in mind the cultural and religious sensibilities of the parents. We need to consciously adopt a policy by which we would provide um, amenable facilities so that parents will feel comfortable sending their children to the schools. Girls in nomadic schools uh, generally drop out from school between the range of 10 and 12 and then they drop out purposely in preparation for getting married. After class one, class two, class three, class four, they will just withdraw that girl child. And then the parent will say, okay, I have withdrawn that girl child, but I will come next week. By next week, he will now come with a smaller child. It could be a male child or a female child. Only to tell the headmaster that, look, I have substituted X for Z. The most challenging thing is lack of female teachers. And we want them to be role model. Uh, we want, um, when you, you go to a, a school for girls only, and you find out that only the principal is a, is, is a, is, is a if you're lucky, is a female. All the rest are male teachers. Good afternoon. How are you? Good there is a proverb that is saying to educate a girl is to educate the nation. At least if you are educated, even if you don't have a job, you know what is happening, you are aware of your environment, you can participate, you can interact, uh, interact with people, and you can say your views, you can contribute in so many ways. By educating girls in Nigeria, this will have impact in, the, in terms of improving their occupation, who will in turn go and serve their communities. My name is Zaina Flower. I am 15 years old. My name is Aisha Jibri, 16 years. My name is Hapsa Asa, 15 years old. If they go to the school, there is difference between the one that is do school, the one that is not to go to the school. When I finish my school, I want to be a police woman. The reason why I want to be a police woman is I want to protect my people and my country. I want to go to school because if I finish my school, I like to come a farmer. When there is not a not food for the youngest one in our country, I like to help them. The state government is ready, you know, to participate. We are very prompt, you know, in even you know, trying to make sure that we participate and give our dues through whatever means, if it entails the education. One of the things I would want the Obazanja Foundation to do is in the area of teacher development. 
I would want to see the foundation supporting the promotion of role models. Teachers, females, role models, who could go out there, let this girl child see role models, see women like themselves coming to teach in the classroom. To give incentive to teachers that can stay permanently in the schools. The school cannot stand on itself when there's no teachers. So female teachers should be recruited through using, uh, as, uh, and more remuneration should be given to the teachers so that that should encourage them and motivate them so that it should be work effectively in order to boost girls' education. When you have more educated girls, more educated female, I think that will be better for the country. I'm very, very much happy for people having to help girls' education because they allow them, they cooperate, they help them to go and learn in the school, wherever they are. Thank you.